what are you up to? Ready, my man. Yeah, I'm just choosing some transitions for this corporate video that I'm working on. Have fun. Pasco, do you know all the transitions by heart? I do not. Why? Want to make a video showcasing them all? Uh, like we did with the titles. Yes, of course. Sure, grab a chair. Come on. We'll get right on it. So how do we do this? All standard transitions, ordered by category, named and numbered. Sounds good. Let's put uh, two seconds per transition so we can see the effects better. Mm -hmm. Leave all the standard settings. Uh, there's way too many variables to start uh, tweaking things. Yes, but let's smooth them in as we always do that anyway. Smooth is good. Let's start with dissolve. Yeah, so smooth cut is a very special transition. If you edit two shots together that are very similar, you can use smooth cut to avoid a jump cut. It uses an algorithm to smooth out any differences. So as long as you don't move too much, you can make a cut without having to crop in, or change angle, or uh, cover it with B-roll. Uh, let's play again, but watch the hands, see what happens. Look at the face, it's pretty good. Look at the hands. You can clearly see the transition there. It's like magic. Don't rely on it though, it doesn't always look right. Yeah, like the hands. What's next? Iris is next. Iris West Allen? No. <laughs> You can change the roundness or ovalness right here. Uh, you can also add a border if you feel so inclined. Change the size, choose any color, like right here. That does look better. What are you guys up to? Just a... We're making a video on transition. Ah, that's boring. <laughs> so if you don't think it's boring, hit that like button. It really helps us out. What's next? motion who are you talking to oh, i really love that typeface so compared to transitions in the iris family these ones push the footage aside instead of overlaying it, right? Correct. And you'll notice when we go to the next transition family, things will get overlaid again. Ah, the shape family. Saying shape family sounds weird. Yeah, they're corny and outdated, but if you combine them with graphic elements, like play with the shape, the color, like so, add a border like we did before, they're still quite useful. Look at this. Resolve gives a lot of freedom when it comes to uh, adapt things however you like them. You should dedicate a video on just that. I'm writing that one down. I think the white family is next. You guys need white? No, transitions. Uh, uh thanks? Hey, don't throw them away. You know you can clean anything with those things, right? Like, anything. Warps are the butts with duct tape to MacGyver. Not just butts.
So all of these transitions have been part of Resolve since forever, right? Mm. Most of them, yeah. But when are we actually getting to the good stuff? Well, actually, right now we have arrived at the fusion transitions. Okay, I'm interested. You don't look like it. Why are they different? Remember that I said that uh, transitions in Resolve were highly customizable? Yeah, that was like two minutes ago. Yeah, with fusion transitions, there's no limit to what you can customize. Let me show you. Let's grab a transition right here. Click on it. Then you go to the inspector and select transition at the top. Already you see that the options are very different. Yeah, the smooth option is gone. That was my favorite, except it's not. If you click on this button here, you go to the transition in the fusion module. And from here on out, you can change literally anything. If you want to smooth it out, it's not just a button press. You can design the curve on which it smooths. You can add effects, you can add graphics, you can change the timing, you can change the layout, you can add transitions to transitions. So if you take the time to learn Fusion, there's no limit to what you can do. In so let's look at the standard one. Yeah, let's. Did someone say cat? No. Hey, if you're gonna do something boring like transitions, at least add a cat or two. That's it, right? Video's over? Uh, no, there's one more family to cover. So what does this one do? Oh, okay, and then there's one more. Okay, <laughs> yeah, the DCTL transition. Uh, but right. this one requires actual programming. It's out of scope for this video. If you like this video, Click on my face to see more like it. And if you want to stay updated, click on my face to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>